What's up everybody, Tactical Production 7 here, back with the Minecraft mod tutorial. Today's mod tutorial is going to be on the Optifine mod. What this mod does is it allows you to customize Minecraft graphics wise to your liking and it will also help reduce a lot of lag. So if you have any lag, this will be a great mod for you to use because it will either eliminate lag completely or just greatly reduce it. So let me go ahead and hop my world here and I will show you all the features of this mod. Well, not all of them because there's, there's a lot so it would take a while. So if you go ahead and go into your game menu, then go to options, then video settings, you can see you have far more video settings here. You can turn the clouds on or off, you can have the fog distance, you can change that. If you go into quality, you can have the minimap on or off, um, and then we have clear water, which I have off right now, but if I turn it on, you can see the water does look a little bit different now. We can have better grass on, and you have fancy, and if you ho hover over that, for a little bit you can see it brings up another menu um, and it says better grass off is default side grass texture and it's the fastest so it also tells you how to make the graphics faster and then we have fast and it's full side grass texture which is slower Then we have fancy dynamic sided side gla grass texture which is the slowest sorry about that Just noise upstairs people running around so I'm gonna leave mine on fancy we have custom fonts, swamp colors, um, it'll make it to where if you have it off it won't use any swamp colors, it'll be all the normal Minecraft colors. Connected, connected textures, um, that joins textures together and it'll make it look seamless. And then we have random mobs, better snow, custom colors, smooth biomes, that's the when the biome uh, transi transitions smoothly into one another. Then we also have texture packs down here. I do have Mises texture pack on, but I can change it to LB photorealism or something like that. Very similar, um, simply. Actually, that's going to take a while to load. I'm just going to change it to the default. So there you go. You can see I do have the default texture pack on now. So if I go back in here, I can change it right back to Mises texture pack. So it's in-game texture pack changer as well. And if you're using HD texture packs, you do not need to use MC Patcher with this mod installed. Then we have details, and we can have clouds on default, fast, or fancy. Um, I can't seem to see mine when I have them on fancy, so I'll go ahead and just leave mine on fast. And you can see the clouds in the distance over here and over here. And you can change the cloud height, so you can see they're going up and down like that. And then you can have your water on fancy, default, fast. Uh, you can have your sky on or off, the sun and moon on or off, the depth of the fog on or off. Uh, we can have the grass that is default, fast, or fancy. Uh, fancy is higher, higher quality but slower. Uh, rain and snow, you can have that on or off. Stars on or off. And the capes on or off as well. Um, another thing for performance is smooth FPS. You can change that up. Again, you want to make sure you hover over all the options to make sure you know exactly what that option will do and what will optimize your Minecraft the best. If we go into other, you can see we have weather. You can turn that on or off. You can have full screen on or off. Um, the fast debug, I'm not really sure what that is about. And this is a lot of stuff that will help reduce lag as well. So that is pretty much just a gist of what the mod does. Um, so let me go ahead and exit out of this, and you can see my Minecraft does look a lot different now. Um, the weird shadows, I'm not sure what caused that, but you can see the water does look a lot different. The grass looks different. Overall, if you do it right and you get your, all your settings um, how you want them, Minecraft will look better. And I just fell into the water. So that is the Optifine mod. Like I said... Very useful if you have a lot of lag or if you want to tweak your graphics in Minecraft. So I now need to clear my Minecraft jar. After I do that, I'll be back and I will show you how to install this mod. Alright, so what you need to install this mod is some sort of archive program such as WinRAR, 7-Zip, or WinZip. All these archive programs will work relatively the same way, so you can use whatever you prefer. I will be using WinRAR in this tutorial. Then you're going to need to download Optifine. That is the only thing you'll need to download to install this mod is Optifine itself. So to download Optifine, I'll go ahead and give you a link to this page in the description. 
Now there are several version, as versions of Optifine. The version I used is standard. You can go ahead and read through these and it'll tell you all the features that the different versions of Optifine have. Um, the best version for most people would be standard, so I would suggest that you download standard. So to download this, you would just go ahead and click on download. And it'll take us over to an ad fly, which will say, please wait five seconds up in the top right hand corner. After that five seconds is up, a yellow button saying skip ad will appear. Go ahead and click on skip ad. And this will take us over to another site to download Optifine. Um, the download link will be right in between all these ads, so make sure you don't click on the ads. Just click on this link right here, and the mod will automatically be downloaded. So that is how to download the Optifine mod. Now when you're ready to install it, go ahead and come over to start. Then type in percent app data percent, just like this down here in the bottom left hand corner. Then go ahead and open up your roaming, open your dot minecraft, open your bin, left click your minecraft jar, then right click it, open with, and select whatever archiving program you're using. I'm using WinRAR, so I'm going to go ahead and open it with WinRAR. Now you do not need your bin open anymore, so you can go ahead and just close that. Once you have your minecraft jar open, go ahead and open up Optifine. Now you're going to want to put all these files into your Minecraft jar and the easiest way to highlight them all would be to hold control then hit A. That'll highlight everything and you want to simply drag all this into your Minecraft jar and hit OK. Go ahead and close the Optifine mod. Now in your Minecraft jar you should see a folder called MetaInf. If you do not have this folder that is OK. You can go ahead and just skip this step but if you do have it what you want to do is delete it. So go ahead and left click it then right click it. Select delete files and then hit yes and that will delete MetaInf. You want to make sure you're always deleting MetaInf when you're installing a mod to Minecraft. If you don't, in a big Minecraft crash. So after you delete MetaInf, go ahead and close your Minecraft jar. And that's it. You're done installing the mod. Very, very simple installation. I hope this video helped you guys out. Thanks for watching, and I will see you guys.